Hello everybody, Floppy Hat Photos back here again for another amazing adventures of the skid steer fun. And this right here, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to come in and kind of do a little closer looking at stuff. I've been running it for quite some time now today. I've got a bunch of this stuff tore out. You can see how wide this front section was that was like a parking space. I probably need to keep going. That's all still rock right in there, but I'm not sure how far to keep going here. I've got a tree planted. I don't want to get into it too much. And I also don't want to go buy two or three hundred dollars worth of dirt just to backfill this. So right now I'm gonna probably come and come in with an actual hand shovel and look at like right along this line here and kind of see where it needs to be. I got down probably five, six inches to four inches in some places through here and just leveled out all this crap. I've still got my big pieces to place. I'm gonna hopefully get that done this evening before dark. Don't know if that'll happen or not. Still have to get my run in, all that good stuff. But I went ahead and kind of shaved along this edge. I might come back in here and actually shave a little bit straighter line with the um, skid steer and kind of cut that down. I'm gonna backfill that with the rock um, I'm trying to stay off. I wasn't thinking when I was first doing it. I was running around here on my yard in this section right here a lot and it's just packed down in. It's mauled up. I'm going to come in here with like a rake and a hoe and really kind of chop that back up good and get some new grass seed in there. So I'm probably going to come in and try and straighten out this edge running right down the side of my drive here. Get that straightened out. But overall I'm pretty happy with the whole concept. I still got two pieces of um, concrete sticking up there I wish I hadn't but they hit that tree and there's really no way around it without going crazy in the process so I'm gonna scrape some of this out I got a couple like this spot right here is a low spot that can be backfilled with my rock when I put in my new gravel same as over here this right here is kind of a low spot again can be backfilled with my gravel not a big deal I'm gonna come in here and kind of level this out I'm gonna scrape this whole section right here down a little bit it's a little higher than I want because it's higher than my actual drive is going to be. So my second drive or my extended wide drive needs to all kind of be pushed this way and fill that hole in there, kind of level that little divot there out a little bit. So overall, I'm super happy with it. I've got virtually everything buried where I'm going to be parking. I still have one, so I keep this here. That right there is a brick that popped, that, you know, it's kind of at the surface, not a big deal. I've got this piece right here, which bugs me. It's a little bit of a sharp corner. I want to make sure I get that covered up. And then I've got another brick there I'll throw off to the side. Not a big deal. So, Laws is nice and soft. It's going to pack in really good. It's just got a lot of good, you know, shell and a lot of good, you know, stuff. And it's just going to pack so nice. So, I think I'm going to be overall super happy with the whole thing. I actually even kind of widened it out up here towards that culvert a lot farther than I really intended to. But I had so much extra dirt. I took out so much gravel and dirt out of this section that was the parking space in the front. That kind of early landing area. So, Got to definitely come in here. Probably going to take another scoop or two. As you can see, this is all just like, just great gravel. So I'm going to probably grab my um, wheelbarrow and shovel it out. I've got some low spots in my north drive. I'll just hand shovel that into those low spots in the north drive. And I'll be good to go. So get those big giant slabs there placed. That's going to be a giant pain in the butt. But hopefully I can get them moved into place without too much hassle factor. And if I can get that done, I'll be happy for today. And then I'll wrap it all up tomorrow. So I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day.